well good uh, good morning to all of you myself uh, krishna kumar trotia assistant professor iimt college greater noida department of mechanical engineering today i would like to uh, discuss about refrigeration equipment and its application the content which i will talk uh, in today uh, lecture the rac equipment such as compressor or different type of condenser then evaporator type of evaporators then evaporators uh, expansion device little bit and next few lecture i will uh, discuss about the air washer cooling tower uh, food preservation cold storage uh, freezer that are used for refrigeration ice plant water cooler analysis of duct and fans and basic difference between comfort and human air conditioning so if we talk about the refrigerant compressor which is used in the refrigerator refrigeration air, air conditioning industries so basically there are two type of uh, compressor or we can classify it as a two type based on the working principle first uh, the positive displacement type and second is the non positive displacement type so if we talk about the positive displacement type uh, uh that compressor generally or compression is achieved by trapping a refrigerant gas basically into a enclosed space then reducing its volume and it have different types like reciprocating uh, compressor is also the positive displacement compressor vent type compressor or screw type compressor okay so what we have saw uh, around uh, the uh, petrol pump where the tire get uh, air uh, for the uh, inflated uh, that is generally the reciprocating compressor which is also used in the refrigeration air conditioning industry and vent type and screw type so the uh, refrigerant uh, compressor come in the positive displacement category if we talk about the non positive displacement generally uh, in non positive displacement compressor that pressure rise of refrigerant is achieved by imparting kinetic energy okay if we increase the kinetic uh, kinetic energy of that uh, refrigerant gas to a steady flow of refrigerant by rotating some mechanical element then converting converting that kinetic energy to the pressure as a refrigerant flow through the diverging passes so it have like centrifugal compressor or axial flow compressor these come under the category of non positive displacement these compressor are widely used in large uh, air conditioning plant or air conditioning system where the large mass flow rate of uh, refrigerant is required or large cooling is required so generally their capacity is more than the uh, positive displacement compressor based on the arrangement of compressor uh, a motor or external drive there are three type of compressor that is basically in come in contact with reciprocating on the first is the open type or belt pulley type second is the hermetical or seal type compressor or third is the semi hermetical uh, type compressor so open type compressor in open type compressor the rotating shaft of the compressor extend through a seal in crankcase for external drive okay so generally the rotating shaft of the compressor generally uh, connect with the external drive and then external drive may be a electrical motor or engine then compressor may be uh, belt driven or gear driven okay so if we use the belt uh, to drive the uh, compressor with the help of the motor generally is the open type compressor okay so open type compressor are characterized by high efficiency flexibility better compression uh, cooling and uh, suitability or serviceability basically how works in the shaft has to extend the uh, uh, torque or refrigerant leakage from the system completely eliminated so uh, second type which come is the hermetical pump. in hermetical sealed compressor basically the motor and compressor are enclosed in the uh, same housing 
to prevent the refrigerant leakage the housing has welded connection for the refrigerant inlet or outlet pipe and also for the electrical wiring okay so basically what we saw in our uh, commercial or home refrigerators that is basically hermetical sealed compressor or a small capacity of refrigerant okay so the black uh, box we saw at the background or back side of the fridge generally that is the hermetical sealed compressor so here you can see the there are cranks up okay then piston then crank is so this is the whole enclosed steel uh, sealed basically or cover inside it have motor outside and with the help of the motor the reciprocating compressor is rotated okay and that uh, compress the refrigerant so here the one is specific the uh, motor shaft is connected uh, or motor shaft or compressor shaft connected in the same uh, with the help of the same shaft actually so the vibration is less and why we are including because of the noise and vibration so we can use in the home okay in the air conditioning as well as the refrigerator so where the minimum noise you can see is coming out if if we run the reciprocating compressor in open well type then there are lot of noise which we saw uh, around the road which are the puncture repairman is used to that compressor hermetical uh, you can have some important characteristic that there is no possibility of uh, refrigerant leakage from the compressor all motor reject a part of power supply to it due to eddy current and friction that is inefficient similarly the compressor also get heated due to the friction and also due to the temperature rise of vapor during the compressor in open type both the compressor and motor normally reject the heat to the surrounding air for efficient operation okay in hermetical generally what happen the electric motor get heated then that heat is absorbed by the refrigerant or you can see the electric motor is cooled uh, by the cold refrigerant so that is a positive point you can say in hermetical compressor heat cannot be reject to the surrounding air since both are enclosed in the cell hence cold suction gas is made to flow over the motor okay so you can have uh, the refrigerant which is flow over the motor and compress before the entering the compressor this keep the motor cool okay so this keep the motor cool so that is the positive uh, points about the hermetical compressor the motor winding is in direct contact with the refrigerant hence the only refrigerant which have high dielectric strength can be used in the hermetical compressor okay. so dielectric uh, dielectric strength should be high for the refrigerant which is used in the hermetical sealed compressor the uh, cop of the hermetical compressor based system is lower then the open compressor based system since the part of the refrigerant effect is lost in the cooling the motor and compressor so some refrigerant heat is being lost to cool down the electric motor so you can see the cop uh, of the that type of compressor will be com coefficient of performance that is called basically so, however hermetical compressor are most universally used in a small system of refrigeration or air conditioning water cooler air conditioner refrigerators where the efficiency is not a important issue as a customer convenience okay and there are a lot not very flexible as it difficult to vary their speed to control the cooling capacity okay so we cannot control that speed so compressor or or other failure it will not repair hence the replacement the only option of the hermetical compressor so here the one is decided what is uh, your compressor got uh, stopped or not working then you can re you cannot repair at the home or some shop it will be go to the company and they open that then enclose that so the whole uh, compressor has to be replaced semi-hermetical or semi-sealed type semi-hermetical unit uh, the cylinder head is usually removable 
so that the valve and the piston can be serviced. Okay, so here you can have the the head and cylinder uh, can be repaired or it is the outside of that enclosure. Right? So this type of unit is called a semi-hermetical or semi-sealed compressor generally. Then uh, the condenser, which is the another part of the or equipment of the air conditioning or refrigerator. Condenser is basically heat exchange in which the refrigerant undergoes phase change from the vapor to liquid. So condenser means it condenses the refrigerant vapor to the liquid, okay, and release the latent heat to the atmosphere. So uh, whenever you you uh, feel the backside of air conditioning. Uh, you can see the heat is coming from the uh, AC okay so that is basically coming out from the condenser which is the refrigerant heat which is absorbed at the evaporator or inside the room okay so condenser generally uh, absorb the or release the latent heat and convert the refrigerant vapor to the liquid okay so in condenser the refrigerant vapor condenses by rejecting heat to the external fluid which is act as a heat sink okay so it is generally heat sink then there are uh, different type of condenser like uh, when we reject heat to the atmosphere with the help of the condenser there might be air cool condenser where the air is flow over the condenser ball and heat uh, being transferred to the atmosphere uh, by the air flowing over the condenser so this such type of condenser is called the air cool condenser then there are water cool condenser so instead of air we used here water okay by uh, water piping system so it's such type of heat exchanger basically where in one pipe there are refrigerant in another pipe which is enclosed in that uh, pipe the water so heat will exchange from the refrigerant to the water and water absorb the heat or you can say latent heat of the condenser and that uh, condenser refrigerant which uh, change their phase from the vapor to liquid so uh, our main object is that the ref uh, refrigerant vapor should be converted into the liquid refrigerant okay so there might be two types like here the arrangement of water cool condenser double pipe or tube and tube okay cell and coil type there are also then cell and tube types so there are three type water cool condenser one is the double pipe or tube and tube type cell and coal type and cell and tube type third there there is evaporator condenser in evaporator condenser both air and water are used okay to uh, convert the refrigerant vapor into the liquid refrigerant basically so the latent heat of refrigerant basically released from the condenser with the help of the air as well as the water that is basically evaporator condenser here you can have the glands of the condenser okay so here you can have that that is a compressor from the compressor the gas or refrigerant will go to the condenser inside there is a vapor the bubbles you can see the vapor refrigerant okay and here it is the liquid but condenser only convert the phase and release the latent heat it does not decrease the temperature okay or pressure even but during this process there are a little bit decrease in the pressure is happen in practical situation so when the refrigerant is flowing through this here to here okay you can see and air is flowing over there okay from the with the help of the fan or natural so what happened the air uh, the higher temperature represent and this is the air which have low temperature so heat will flow from the higher temperature to lower so this represent give heat uh, to this air okay q and it gave it got converted into liquid so that uh, how the latent heat or represent get absorbed by the air and go into the atmosphere and that is how the represent vapor is converted into the liquid and this is here it goes in the expansion device in the next component or application you can see okay so we have studied the compressor then no condenser okay so this is the one type of condenser you can say then 
uh, if we use the water cool condenser then we need to use the water so in one pipe we use the water and another pipe we use the <coughs> represent liquid okay so here you can have uh, the hot water outlet okay and inside that there is a represent so uh, in uh, here cold water is going to insert in that pipe and around that pipe there is a represent okay so this is this is the one cell and inside there there is tube to, so this is called the cell or coil so this is called the cell and coil type of represent so heat being transferred from this represent to the water mm -hmm. and that represent will condense or it uh, phase get changed from the paper to liquid and latent heat will be released basically then another you can have the tube so there are number of tube you can have and one cell is there okay so if the one uh, coil is there or one pipe is there so th this is generally we call coil and cell and the number of tube is there then we call the cell and tube type so same principle will happen but here the arrangement of the uh, tube is number of different tubes are used to face uh, to change the face of the represent paper basically okay or here you can say the uh, tube and tube so there are one large diameter tube and there are inside there the less diameter tube or low diameter tube so two tube are overlap okay and then one uh, tube have the flow of the represent paper you can see here and another uh, big diameter of the tube have the represent of cold water which inserted and that represent will give heat to the water and water take out that heat and change the face of refrigerant paper to the liquid refrigerant. So here you can see this is the refrigerant paper and here you can see this is the refrigerant liquid out. Okay, So this is how the three type of condenser schematic diagram are there basically. Then uh, there are third type of condenser which is called the evaporator condenser in evaporator condenser you can see we spray the water as well as the uh, air okay or, or with the help of the fan we flow the air over the coil so this generally this is called the evaporator condenser in evaporator condenser both air and water are used to extract the heat from the condensing rapid evaporator condenser combine the feature of cooling tower and water cool condenser in single basically so this is how here you can see the represent bed uh, paper which is coming out from the compressor is go in this queue a uh, tube okay and here you can see the represent liquid out okay and over that coil or tube we spray the water as well as the uh, air okay so the heat being transferred from this represent to the water and air okay and uh, the face of the represent vapor is get changed to the liquid okay and this is the arrangement basically where we need to also supply the makeup water so this is the makeup water valve then makeup water flow to close the uh, this valve okay and this is the water spray and the warm most air out here with the help of the fan the moisture eliminators are there some water evaporator absorbing heat from the condenser here so this is how the schematic diagram of the evaporator condenser are then there are third equipment of air conditioning which is very important which is called the direct contact evaporator or which is also you can say uh, used in the air conditioning unit plate type of evaporator which is used in the domestic refrigeration in our homes and floated type evaporator generally used in the large industry unit so there are uh, three type of evaporator, direct contact plate type or fluted type basically okay so this is the third equipment or component which is used in the paper compressor refrigeration cycle or air conditioning unit or refrigeration unit so evaporator evaporator what does it evaporate the refrigerant 
and condenser what does it condense the refrigerant condense means converting from vapor to liquid and evaporate means it converting again from liquid to vapor for the compressor because we need refrigerant and vapor form in the compressor otherwise it 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 can't uh, compress the refrigerant okay so uh, the next uh, component which is used in the vapor compression or air conditioning unit is the expansion device okay expansion device uh, generally uh, used to expand the refrigerant coming from the condenser okay condenser uh, at the outlet of the condenser there are uh, refrigerant and liquid state with high pressure and temperature so when it goes in the capillary tube it expand okay and that pressure and temperature got decreased okay so basically the capillary tube is very small uh, diameter tube uh, uh, large length tube you can say and according to our requirement we can decide the length of the tube and diameter but it generally very small for in mm okay the diameter of the capillary tube or expansion device basically okay so these expansion device one is the capillary tube is the very cheap one generally used in the commercial air conditioning or refrigeration system then second one is the automatic or constant pressure expansion valve and third is the thermostatic expansion valve basically so these three type generally used in different different application purpose so generally capillary tube used in the uh, in our household refrigeration system or as well as air conditioning system and automatic or constant pressure expansion generally used in other application where we require the automatic uh, temperature maintenance okay inside the refrigerant or cold storage thermostatic expansion was generally used in the air conditioning which uh, maintain the temperature inside the uh, air conditioning room as well as they also control the flow of refrigerant okay so whenever the air conditioning room, room get the temperature which we have set like 20 degree it automatic stop the flow of refrigerant and stop the compressor okay so there will be no power consumption in the compressor and system will automatically uh, stop till the again the temperature rises to the certain value like 21 or 32 okay then again it sends the that uh, temperature inside the room with the help of the uh, sensor and then again it gives the direction to flow the refrigerant and that flow of refrigerant in uh, detail with the help of the schematic diagram we will discuss in the next lecture okay so today for that's all about the expansion device but in the next lecture i will uh, uh, explain in the detail with the help of the schematic diagram how they are working how we can decide their sizing system okay so thank you very much